Welcome back to another Boomer Bus editorial. I'm your host Terry, and today talking real quick about championships and are all rings equal to each other? And so that is all sparking off this conversation that's being had about Kevin Durant. If you haven't heard, it's uh, mostly I would say in the sports media world that started this conversation. But a lot of people seem to talk as if it is factual, and that is that if the Warriors win without Kevin Durant, then the two championships Kevin Durant has now is less valuable. But if they were to lose and Kevin Durant wasn't playing, then they would be even more valuable. Now, I understand the premise behind the argument, basically saying that, hey, look, if you can uh, be the greatest player or so-called greatest player in the league, but a team can win a championship without you in the finals, that doesn't look as, you know, as great saying that you are as valuable as you might think you are. And then if they were to lose, that would kind of just prove this idea that, hey, look, they can't really win without me. And so I can understand what people are saying. However, is it a fair way to say that, okay, well, rings can somehow change value uh, throughout the course of history or is it fair to say that this person's ring isn't as valuable as that person's ring or can we put uh, asterisks on rings all these different questions and i'll tell you what i started off one way i was kind of just like no that's ridiculous it, it, it there's no flukes to win the championship and it's everything is hard i mean not hard but everything is a grind to get to a championship i mean even the fact that your whole starters stay healthy they could all get hurt who never you never know and so as many times as a team does it doesn't mean that it's easy and so that's kind of how i started off but then i gotta think about it and I was thinking like, you know, is it the same in football, as basketball, as in hockey, as in baseball? And I, I started to change my mind when I thought about different sports because at first I was like, yes, all rings are equal. But then you think about it. So if the Patriots, the year that Tom Brady was hurt and Matt Castle was playing really well, if they were to win the Super Bowl that year, how would that have changed the narrative in New England? Now, that not even talking about the ring, but the narrative right now is like people always want to uh, go back and forth. Is Belichick the reason for the Patriots? No, it's Brady. He's the reason. Neither one have won a ring without each other. But if Belichick were to have won a ring without Tom Brady, that would completely change the narrative. And then the question would be, well, Tom has six rings, but will we put an asterisk next to that ring? Because he didn't start as quarterback. And so I think naturally, just as far as the conversation of all championships being equal, um, a ring is a ring, but of course, if you contribute more to it or not means something. So I'm not going to sit here and say a backup quarterback that, you know, years down the line gets six rings and never started a game is equal to Tom Brady. We're not going to say that. I think we all can agree like what you contribute matters. But then when we're talking about a uh, comparison amongst peers is a ring a ring. And so that just kind of made me start thinking like, no, I think you can take context into it. And in football, I do agree that uh, most championships is like they're pretty equal the the weight is the same. I mean, the level of difficulty is the same. You got to go through this long season. Then you got to go through the playoffs. You only get uh, one bye round if you uh, even earn that. But the rest of it, you got to play through. And even if you're talented, it's a physical sport where any given Sunday, and you know, it's a do or die league. But in basketball, not only is there a seven game series, where you can kind of average out who's the better team. But also on top of that, you got to realize that they only have five players. And so when you take somebody that's number one, number two, and number three in the, the sport of basketball and you put them on the same team, that ultimately changes very significantly their chances of winning. 
And so while we can say, yeah, they got to go through the season, they got to go through the series, and they got to win it, is is it the same as like the Detroit Pistons winning it or, you know, any other team you want to talk about? So this idea of putting the context of super teams, level of competition and all that. I mean, even if you were to say, I don't know, you compare one championship or champion to the previous champion and say they beat two different opponents and one opponent was way better than the other opponent. Then do we say, well, their ring is more, um, you know, worthy or it weighs more because they have to be someone tougher than you when you won yours. I don't know. I mean, I, I start to feel like you can put these things into context because if you put it in such a box where it's just like, no, a ring is a ring, then, like I said, things with these super teams, things with other um, you know, injuries or other context that happens that particular season get left out. And then I feel like we're comparing apples to apples when it's not always the same situation. So, I mean, I think of it like the same way with Olympics. And I, I kind of apply this to a lot of things is that you can have execution, but you also can have level of difficulty. And so that's not all the Olympics, but of course, like diving and, you know, gymnastics and stuff is like, yeah, we can both get the end result and land it. But there's a level of difficulty that is going to be different from every champion to every champion, even for the same team. You talk like people talk about the Warriors, uh, you know, is this two rings as valuable as this ring or when they had to beat this team instead of when they beat this team? So. I'm starting to fall onto the line that no, all championships aren't equal and a ring isn't just a ring. So anyway, if you uh, agree or if you don't disagree, go to the comment section. Let me know what you think. Share it around. Get the conversation started. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And until next episode.